Well, hello. <laughs> My name is Matthew Temple. I'm sitting in for Tyler Franks. Tyler is somewhere in middle America about now. He's moving from Nashville back to California. Um, and we're going to miss him something terrible. But this used to be his room. Well, it's still his room. He can come back anytime that he wants. And uh, hopefully I'll have it finished a little more um, next time. Yes, I am the sweat. We had a flood here in Nashville, which you may have heard of, and we're, <laughs> it flooded our basement, so we've been trying to clean it out. But I need to take a few minutes and uh, post up this vlog. So this week's topic is um, what happens if you become attracted to someone who is not your sexual preference? Sexual preference. Um, wow. Well, I got me thinking, first of all, I mean, the whole thing is, you know, preference. That sounds like you prefer to have sex with one group over another. Well, I know in my case, I prefer to have um, sex with guys, period. <laughs> now, I used to be married. Um, but I grew up in a time when, you know, that is essentially what you did. You, you got married and had kids and sort of hid. And, and there's still some of that, but it is getting better. Um, but, but I got married, but I got better. <laughs> um, I'm, I now have a partner. He and I have been together for t almost 12 years. Um, I had a partner before him that I lost to cancer for 11 years. Um, I'm not very flighty. Um, but what would I do if I found myself attracted to a woman? Um, man, I'll tell you, I would be one confused bear. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly certain, first of all, how that would happen. Um, uh, but it would really throw kind of a monkey wrench in to how I think. I, I, I see myself, I identify um, as a gay man. Um, and I guess I would have to start thinking, of, well, you know, maybe I'm not gay. I mean, that's, if, if you're still attracted to, to men and you find yourself then becoming attracted to women, you'd be bisexual. Um, and seriously in thinking about it there's probably a lot more bisexual people out there than there are 100% uh, gay people or 100% straight people um, because if anything um, this world is about variety <laughs> I mean you got short people and tall people um, incredibly short people and incredibly tall people and uh, skinny people and fat people like me. <laughs> um, so, you know, just in colors. I mean, think how many colors of red there are that occur in nature. So I, th I think somewhere along that line, you've got people who are 100% gay and people who are 100% straight. And everything in between is bisexual, and that's probably most people. And then right in the middle, you've got people who aren't attracted to anyone and don't want to have sex. Boring! <laughs> or tragic. <laughs> um, but certainly a lot less complicated. Um, I know I would have to rethink a lot of stuff about myself. Um, and, uh, and, and it would be, it would be kind of difficult. It would be hard for me to tell my partner that I was attracted to a woman. Um, I think after he stopped laughing hysterically um, and saw that I was serious, uh, he, I don't know, start laughing hysterically again. Um, so it, it would be a situation, it would, it would require me to really start thinking about um, myself and my, and my, you know, how I see myself sexually. I can tell you that that's probably not going to happen. 
um, like I said, I was married and it was just not for me. And, and it wasn't fair to her. Um, so it was a mistake. Um, and I don't intend to do that again, um, certainly to myself or to her, someone else's feelings. Um, and I have a partner. Um, so I don't know, I can't go too far into that because I honestly have a hard time even imagining myself being attracted to someone who was not my sexual preference. <laughs> anyway, well, I hope I haven't uh, um, destroyed your opinion of Tyler by sitting in for this. And um, he'll be back next week uh, broadcasting from California, uh, the lovely town of Ridgecrest. And uh, I'm sure you'll all be glad to see him because he's funny. And uh, just so you know, when you watch this, Tyler, we miss you. We, we miss you so much. Um, this is your home. If, if you ever need a place to stay or want to come back, you're, you're, you're welcome here. Okay. And for the other members of the Five Cups of Gay, uh, congratulations. Great channel. Um, I, I'll, I'll be sure to tell all my friends and enemies about it. And maybe I can make some of my enemies friends by letting them see such a, a great bunch of folks. All right. Ciao. Bella.